if you know that your particular idea is about a particular genre so naturally there will be some sort of a character or a protagonist in your concept about which you are going to tell the story so ultimately it's a human mind it's a human being it's a human character who is a protagonist and about that particular human being you are go going to tell the story in your entire screenplay so if you know what is your uh, concept so concept is what it's a well defined idea so again i'm trying to tell you about the development of the protagonist and the development of antagonist so all of a sudden you are cannot cannot can cannot be a good person or all of a sudden your character cannot be a bad person so how you will make it the believable situations about your characters so it's about the central conflict of your story so once you have defined who is your protagonist and what happens to the protagonist and ultimately what is the goal of the protagonist so in a simple way if the boy is poor and the girl is rich and that boy wants to meet the girl or they both of they want to get a marry so if this is a goal so ultimately even though people can guess that at the end of the story they will meet each other and they will have a marriage but still it's the responsibility of the protagonist or the responsibility of the story writer that the journey of this girl and boy should be very very interesting it should not be predictable so it's about the characterization of your film these characters are central characters so protagonist the hero or heroine of your film the profession of that nayak uh, pro profession of that antagonist or a protagonist and the central conflicts is what that's that that uh, antagonist kills the father of protagonist or antagonist creates some property dispute in the family of protagonist or antagonist kidnaps some person from the house of protagonist or <coughs> antagonists want to create some terrorism in the particular country or particular region or in the particular culture see try to understand the value of the conflict should be very high how your goal will define that goal belongs to the hero so the goal will have very high value and high value depends on what kind of a conflict you are going to portray in the film so how to define your central conflict and for these things you you need to understand what kind of similarities about your conflicts are already there in the different films or also you can find out that what kind of similar conflicts are there in the society or in the particular region or in the particular countries so if you know that the central conflict is a very common but the way of creation of the conflict is a very unique so ultimately do not try to show the audience that 
ऑलरेडी ऑडियंस नोज अबाउट दैट सो सिंपल स्टोरी शुड बी विजिबल इन अ वेरी डिफरेंट वे सो इट्स अबाउट नाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द स्टोरी वॉट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट फ्रॉम द थॉट और फ्रॉम द आइडिया वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दैट आइडिया इन टू द कॉन्सेप्ट that concept will be very well defined idea so in that well defined concept their geographical cultural aesthetical values will be there with a particular parameters of that particular society or the country or the region so basic human emotions that is the love and hatred these are the common emotions throughout the world throughout the universe so if you know that your story take place in the south africa as well as north america so ultimately it's about your creative exploration and your creative ability and your intellectual capacity to define the goal of the story because stories are about the explanation the stories are about the explanation of the heroism of a particular protagonist or a particular hero or a particular heroine but unless you are not telling you the central conflict in a very interesting way the journey of protagonist will not be visible in the front of audience so ultimately story is about the heroism of a particular character particular person and the particular person should have his or her journey with a different visual experiences so when we are trying to define the story so story is basically the journey of your protagonist in particular time and space and throughout the universe throughout the world there are n numbers of boundaries and the situations and activities continuously happening and since the ages but when you are trying to define your story it means you will have to focus on a particular space and time so when i say particular time and space it means the story takes place in 1937 to 1938 at uganda or jerusalem or africa or india or indonesia or japan and it's the story of a buddhist monk who gets married with a widow so it's an example so if you know that a buddhist monk is going to get a marry it means what can be the critical situation in which he is going to get marry with a widow so is it challenging so initially socially it's a not acceptable concept but then there is a story when there is some challenging content is there so is it a love story or is it a critical situation or is it a realistic story or is it a fiction so story the phase of the story is just a span of a one day 
or a one year or a hundred years or a thousand years. You need to define. So what is a central event in the story and what are the consequences of the story before the particular incidents happen and post incident of the story. So you need to understand or you need to understand that what is a plot of your story. So you know the plot, then you must know what is the value of the plot and what can be created on that particular plot. You cannot compile so many ideas in a single plot unless it is not defined you need to understand that the central event or the central conflict of the story should be well defined 